the ability to get a Chris Sale doesn't come along that often. This is a, one of the best pitchers in baseball, proven. We're trying to win. Super excited. You know, uh, I heard that David called my agent and, uh, and that Boston was interested. I was, I was uh, excited and uh, really kind of pushing to make something happen. He hasn't pitched in a game yet. Opening day is on April 3rd. They need to build him up to so pitch 90 to 95 pitches. I thought they stretch out all their pitchers. So, you know, hopefully he gets in the game maybe in the next 10 days or so. A three-run home run for Sandoval and a two-home run afternoon for the Panda. Three-run homer, Andrew Benintendi, and it's 5 nothing Red Sox. The 0-1 pitch. And Sandy hits with high and deep to left field. Way back, it's a walk-off home run for Sandy Leon. And the Red Sox win it 3 to nothing. Swung on and drilled down the left field line, a fair ball in the road to the corner. Here comes Benintendi. It's a bases-clearing double for Mookie Betts, and the Red Sox lead it 4-1. to one. Seven straight double-digit strikeout games for Chris Sale. This kid threw nothing but strikes all day long. A complete game shutout for Brian Johnson in his third major league start. Strike him out. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Five strikeouts for Kimbrell through the eighth and the ninth. Swing ground ball right side, throw for a base hit. Here he comes. All tears throw to the plate. He dives, he's safe, and the Red Sox win it. A runoff win for the Red Sox. That's the ball game. Deep into the corner, and the Red Sox walk it up again. The second night in a row. He hammers once, way back, and got a three-run home run for Mookie Betts. And that ball gets out of here. Another home run. And if you blinked, you missed it. Eight RBIs for Mookie Betts. What can't he do? Marrero barehands, throws to first, he throws it away. Pedroia backs up, throws to first, and Moreland tags him out. Look at the off-balance throw, unbelievable, gets him. Benintendi back to the wall, he leaps, and he makes a tremendous catch. A sensational catch. The reality is with Sandoval just simply has not worked out, and again, the health, the productivity, the defense even. You see over at, at third base, they have Devin Marrero, that's a very good defensive player that can actually fill in there. So if Sandoval is not going to hit enough, His defense is not good enough to carry a roster spot. The 3-1. Inside. Ball four. Red Sox win it. Five to four, Boston. The Red Sox truly walk it off. Swung on and crushed. Toward the triangle very deep. Jackie back to the wall. He leaps and he made the catch. I can't believe it. Holy smokes. One of the great catches we've ever seen in this ballpark. A huge outing for Price. And he swings and he drives a deep to the field. Ball game over. A walk-off winner for Hanley Ramirez out on the Lansdowne Street. The Red Sox may have the best record in the American League East, but they have the worst third base situation in baseball. They're seeking to rectify that. They are calling up Rafael Devers. Welcome to Boston. The Red Sox have acquired Eduardo Nunez from the San Francisco Giants. He's a solid third baseman. And Devers hammers one to center field. This ball headed toward the wall. It is back. It is gone. The first major league hit for Rafael Devers. I'm way more optimistic than I was in spring training. You know, spring training was 10 out of a 10. You know, this is a one. I'm confident that you know, I'll be okay. Eduardo Nunez has his first Red Sox home run. Way back and gone. Home run number two. Ground ball. It's a good way to get introduced to your new teammates. New member of the Boston Red Sox, Addison Reed. He'll be working out of the bullpen. He's very effective for the New York Mets. I can't say that when he comes back, he'll be pain-free. But the way the the volume of play got to the point and how he was irritated, felt like this was the best move at the moment. That'll bring up Vasquez. 3-1. High fly ball left center field. Going back. Zimmer turning around. She's gone. The Red Sox walk it off! This ball is gone! A walk-off home run! Mitch Moreland, Red Sox win it 3-2! Can you believe it? Huge game in the middle of August. It's gone! A home run! 20-year-old Rafael Devers ties the game at two! Base hit! RBI single for Andrew Benintendi, his ninth RBI of this series, and the Red Sox lead it in the tenth. A home run for Devers! His second one tonight! The legend is building!
Get out the history books. The Red Sox turn a triple play. How about that? You come to the ballpark, you never know what you're going to see. Swing line drive, left field, deep back by the wall. It's off the scoreboard. The throw gets away. He's safe. The Red Sox win. A dive, a sprawling play for Benintendi. As he steals what would have been a double. Moreland coming in to swing. One run game. Base hit. Into score Nunez has been attending. He's going to score. Moreland a pinch hit two run single. And the Red Sox lead it seven to six. They come all the way back in the bottom of the seventh. And the ball game is over. A complete game. One hitter. What a game for Fister. Here's a guy with Jackie Bradley Jr. going on to disable this yesterday that the Red Sox were able to pick up within 24 hours later. They're not giving up much in return, Rafael Rincon is, but Davis is a guy experience, speed, defense. He can hit left-handers. He'll play against righties, too. Dustin Pedroia is back. <laughs> He's back, all right. That is a nice play all the way around. Second longest game ever at Fenway Park. Up the end of the bat, a base hit. Here comes Mookie around there. He scores! The Red Sox win it! And that is in there for strike three. Six good innings out of him tonight with seven strikeouts. He can go to 15 and five. And it's been a seven run 15th inning. 13 6 Red Sox. David Price is back on the hill for the Boston Red Sox, but in a bullpen roll. Price looking very sharp. 8 8 tie in the 11th. Ground ball right side. Two for base hit. Here comes one run. Here comes Bogarts. It's going to the plate. Come on. A two run single in with an attendant. An outstanding catch for JBJ. Stop me if you've heard that before. And it gets away, and here comes Jackie Bradley to score the game's first run. And the Red Sox have the lead at last. They're on their feet at Camden Yards. Here's the kick, the 2-2. Strike three. There it is, number 300. Chris Sale has his teammates bowing to him. A 300 strikeout season for Chris Sale. The Fenway faithful on their feet. Strike three. Strike three. And the Red Sox are the champions of the American League East for the second consecutive year. The Red Sox, ALE's champs.